mind. Um, so today I'm going through the, uh, you know, my portfolio or dividend portfolio. Uh, as you know, this during this time of um, coronavirus, markets get crashed so bad, and uh, I took advantage to build a portfolio which is going to be public portfolio. I will show. You know, so if you can follow along and see if you can build your own portfolio using you know these stocks or different type of stocks but the goal here is to build this portfolio and uh, to make sure that we get all the dividends and to invest and uh, what I'm gonna do and what I'm going to do is I will go through all this stock one by one and what we're going to do is I will explain each stock one by one what actually a stock is so it's gonna be kind of series you know this is just overall of what I'm why I'm building this portfolio and what kind of stocks I'm I'm buying and how much I started. So this is not like my overall portfolio. This is actually just for uh this time. I mean I take advantage because the market is really you know it's really low right now. These stocks were down from twenty to thirty percent. So I said well it's a good time to buy these stocks because when you buy stock with low, that means your yield is higher, right? So we'll go. Well, let's start with the, you know, the first stock will be Altagas. What Altagas does is, it's a it's an energy company, right? So they do actually provide electricity and also gas pipeline, uh, BC. Uh, BCE, this is uh, Bell, which is one of the biggest, you know, three telecommunication company in Canada. Um, or we call Bell Media. So it has a segment of, of course, telecommunication, internet, cell phone, and all that stuff. Um, and it, by the way, it's one of the biggest, it's, it's the biggest actually in Canada network. So it's literally like a Horizon in the US, and we have Bank of Montreal. This bank has segment in Canada and also in the U.S. and is one of the biggest uh, and oldest bank in Canada. And the ticker symbol is BMO. By the way, all these ticker symbols you can see here: Altagas, B, uh, BCE. All these also traded in both exchanges. You know the Toronto Stock Exchange and also U.S. Stock Exchange, New York. In Canada, I would have bce.to and then if it's just regular like this i'll be more of a u.s uh new york we have bank of nova scotia if you check my videos i went in details what bank of nova scotia does and return of bank of nova scotia and all that stuff i went through by this so this is exactly what i'm going to do i'm going to do from now on i will be going through one by one stock Right now, I've built this portfolio um, of 20 stocks. I mean, from scratch, total of 42,000. You know, right now I'm up. I think about 1,000, almost 2,000 dollars. I'm up, which is about four percent. Um, we have Canadian Imperial Bank. Oh, we have Canadian National Railway. This is one of the biggest, uh, you know, all the only, it's the, the, the only two of them, you know, Canadian National Railway, there are only two railway in Canada, which is uh, CN and um, CP. So those are the only two rail, actually. So Canadian National Railway, it's a, one of the oldest company in Canada, which transport goods between costs from Vancouver all the way to to um, Toronto uh, to Halifax and also to the US and Mexico so this is one of the biggest uh, rail network in Canada we have Canadian Tire it's a Canadian major brand you know which sells everything and also does the service automotive car mechanics and changing tires and all that stuff and also has seasonal so flowers and patio um, fishing gears 
camping gears. So it's one of the biggest company, uh, you know, like a retail. But the unique about this company because it's more of Canadian, so people tend to like Canadian companies, you know, Canadian utility. So this provide utility in western part of Canada, uh, uh, eastern part of Canada, and the U.S. Enbridge. This is a uh, one of the biggest energy company in Canada. Actually, it's the, the biggest by market cap. So it does a process and transportation of gas, uh, oil and gas, and it also does a storage. Um, recently, he just went through uh, renewable energy. We have Fortis. Fortis. Fortis is one of biggest also um, utility company which provide utility in Canada and the U.S. in a pipeline. It's more of like a storage and um, builds pipe network that transport oil and gas between you know Canadian provinces and also into the United States we have pizza pizza you know the reason I like a pizza pizza actually has a good yield and is more royalty and you know when the market is not doing good and you know people always like to eat pizza and the reason about this one is because me myself back in the days I used to work at pizza place so I may you know I kind of have the feeling for it and that's why I kind of bought this Rio Khan is one of the biggest or if not the biggest uh, real estate um, company or REIT in Canada which has segment in retail so the malls and outlets and also residential we have RBC Royal Bank of Canada it's the biggest bank in Canada show communication does provide internet um, television and also recently I just acquired Freedom Mobile which is going to be segment of uh, Mob, mobile phone Suncor Energy it's a second energy company in Canada it does provide um, gas um, oil and gas transportation it produces oil you know here in Canada and also has investments in the United States like uh, uh, Texas oil and also it owns all the Petro Canada in Canada Toronto Dominion Bank this is a uh, one of the biggest bank it's a third by capitalization or sometimes it comes to second actually you can say it's a second um, which has a big portion in United States as well so pretty much half of its income comes from the US so investing in company like this TV not only you invest in Canada but also you invest in the US um, TFI International, this is transportation, trucking, and of course, so it's a pretty much what I did is I did uh, CN, as you can see this CN right here, it's transportation by train, which of course, uh, things come from China, come from Europe, wherever, they go to Vancouver ports, or they go to Halifax, or they go to um, San Francisco, and these things has to be shipped around, and of course, you're going to use a train, and you're going to use a truck. So this is the TFI so zone of transportation. It is pretty good this time because, as you know, most companies shut down, but tracking was part of the essential. But even then, because the company was heat and it was really low, and you can see right now I'm up, I think, about 3%. And now the two last one I have, Vanguard, FTSE, Canada, all cap. So this... What this is pretty much it does, as you can see here, Vanguard 40 Canada All Cup. This is more of an ETF that includes 300 companies in Canada. So pretty much most of those companies that I, I invested in individually, they are also included in this in this uh, in this ETF, as you can see. Um, as you can see, the fundamental of this company pays uh, it's pretty good. And we have it's 32 right now. Uh, 
All right, so and the last one would be Vanguard. This one will be Vanguard FTSE Canadian High Dividend Yield. This has more of all the banks and all the big energy company and real estates invested in this ETF. So I think it has about 60 companies invested in this ETF. I just bought this one for diversification. You just put in it. So those are the my dividend investment that I'm building right now for you know during this market crash and my goal is to build this from from zero up to one hundred thousand dollar and take all the dividend reinvest as you can see most of them their market value they're about two thousand that is like two thousand because most of them were just like uh, about two thousand each you know one thousand nine hundred to two thousand 500 the biggest portion was this one these two ETF has about 3,000 in each So this will take a little bit more because they're more diversified. So I put more money in it As you can see net profit most of them they are high right now and we have some like uh, uh, Suncor because oil of course was really bad and right now I'm down 2% and I have a can this is real estate is about 27 percent down wow that's and we have Canadian utility which is 12 percent down and we have Alta gas about seven percent down but overall we are up by as you can see is one thousand almost two thousand dollar so that's all so if you um, if you like this video please hit the like button it helps for youtube algorithm and if you have any question about these stocks or type of investment or the strategy i'm doing just uh i leave your comment below and you know just keep following along because i mean i'm going to go one by one one by one stocks like a fundamental of each company right you know for example i went through bank of nova scotia and we talk about bank of nova scotia what the bank does you know the the, the, the technique of it we will see the graph so we'll also go through things like Enbridge we'll see what does Enbridge does and everything we'll go through show communication for example why invest in this company what's the return what's the dividends so all these companies have high dividends that's why I chose all these companies so thank you very much for watching this video and if you have any question as I say uh, just um, you know leave your comment below